Hasn't Miss Hudson come in yet? Not yet, sir. Well, get me her apartment. Yes, sir. His Highness would have words with his Eanquay. Plaza 63400. Miss Hudson's apartment. Is Miss Hudson there? How long has she been gone? Oh, all right, thank you. Miss Hudson has already left for the office, Mr. Van Dyne. Very well, Mr. Van Dyne, I'll see that Miss Hudson gets the message as soon as she comes in. Yes, sir. Take a message for the Ean Clay. His Nibs is going to a director's meeting and will be there all afternoon. But he will see Her Royal Highness this evening. He never misses. Good morning, Marie. A message for you, Miss Hudson. Oh. Thank you. Miss Hudson speaking. Oh, there should have been a stop order on that purchase. An oversight on Mr. Van Dyne's part, I'm sure. That's right, a stop order at 86. Thank you. I've been trying to get your number, Mr. Martin. I'll try again in a few moments. I'd like to see Miss Hudson, please. Oh, uh, what's the name? Oh, just tell her an old friend from Greenfield. Yes? A gentleman to see Miss Hudson. Uh, who is it, please? Mr. Cooper from Greenfield. Who? Mr. Cooper. Well, ask him to wait just a moment. Oh, send him in, please. All right. Thank you. Miss Hudson will see you. Thank you. Well, Paul. Paul Cooper, is it really you? In person. Surprise. Oh, I'm flabbergasted. <laughs> you told me not to come back until I'd made good. Yes, I know. But where in the world did you pop from? Greenfield. Home? Oh, yes. Did you see Mother? Yes. And did your mother embarrass me? How? Told me to kiss you for her. <laughs> well, what in the world have you been doing with yourself and how have you been? Oh, working and waiting. Say, you seem to have made something of a success yourself. <laughs> Oh, by the way, your mother gave me your address as the arts club, but you aren't there anymore. Uh, no, I've uh, moved. Helen, have dinner with me. I have so much I want to tell you. Well, uh, I, I... I know it's short notice, dear, but I'm leaving town tonight. Tonight? Oh, say yes, and we'll make a night of it, and you can show me the town. Oh, Paul, you darling. <laughs> of course I'll go with you. You can't go now. Well, no. Well, where do you live and what time shall I pick you up? Uh, where are you stopping? At the, uh, the palace. I'll meet you there at six. I'll make it five. Hmm, five-thirty? Is that the best you can do? Quite. Well, then I'll have to wait. <laughs> Will that be so difficult after three years? Oh, it'll be terrible. <laughs> Don't be late. I won't. finger when I met you today. Hmm. It's still vacant. I'd like to correct that. 
Oh, Paul, it's getting late. Why, well, it's only half hour till train time. You would think of train. Tell me you'll marry me when I come back. Oh, you must just listen to one... One word. Will you say it? No, Paul. Yes, you will. Remember, you promised. Oh, you must hurry. Will you? Don't say no. I hate a fibber. <laughs> Goodbye, dear. Is Miss Helen home? Yes, Miss Catherine. She's here. She's expecting you. Hello, Hello darling. Hello, Kate. How are you? I'm in a hurry. I have to be back at the shop by 1.30. Uh, would you like a cocktail? What, with all those old dames sitting around <laughs> my beauty shop? No, thank you. Well, why the hurry call? Oh, trouble. I need advice. You mean you want to tell me something you've already done and have me agree with you? <laughs> Not this time. Well, I'm ready. Kate, do you remember Paul Cooper? Paul Cooper? Will I ever forget him? I used to think he was the north end of your front porch. Hmm. Don't tell me he's back. Well, uh, he telephoned the office yesterday afternoon. He just in from Greenfield. He'd seen Mother and the family and was leaving at midnight. I spent the evening with him, put him on the train. He's got some deal on in Chicago. I don't know what it is, but if it goes through, he's coming back. And so what? I'm going to tell him. I feel that he'll understand. Hmm, it's good. You don't mind my eating. It doesn't mean that I'm not sympathetic. No, no, of course not. Listen, baby. In this world, it's not what you've done. It's who you have to confess it to. There are some men you could say to, I haven't been an angel all my life, darling. And they will say, I haven't either, dear. But Paul Cooper, I don't know. Any man who ogles you from his seat in kindergarten, goes out west to make a fortune for you, then actually comes back. He's either crazy or crazy. Hmm. Pleasant prospect. Exactly. When Paul Cooper discovers his little goddess is just plain woman. Well, anyway, I'm going to try. I'm going home. 
Home? To Greenfield? Yes. I'm not going to try to fool Paul. Nor am I fooling myself into believing that putting on my hat and walking out of this is going to uh, just blot out everything that's happened. You mean you're... Yes. That's where we started, Paul and I. And I'm going back and start all over again. A telegram for Miss Hudson. Miss Hudson is not in, but I'll sign for it. Oh, no, it's personal. I must have her signature. But all messages are delivered at this desk. I'll see that Miss Hudson gets it. All right. Thank you. So you're really going home? Would you take my advice on something? Well, what is it? You know I'm for you, whatever you do. Why don't you just pay the family a little visit without deciding anything definite? No, I want to make the break clean. Hmm. Hello, darling. Good luck. Goodbye. around this place. A man, you say? You surely aren't talking about yourself. I surely am. Go on, Southern. Take your accent outside. Oh, mother. Do you all got any of picnics down south, honey? Ma, why don't you make her talk natural? Ever since she's been going to that school down south, she thinks she introduced Mason to Dixon. It sounds silly. I don't think it sounds silly. See? Oh, it yeah. does. Shut oh, up. Children. Children, please don't quarrel. I should think you'd be happy tonight. Oh, I'd like to see anybody be happy in this family. It's a swell family when you're away, kid. Don't call me kid. Oh, Naray. Oh, I beg your pardon, Colonel. Raspberries. I want my shirt. Well, I was trying to... You have to step on it. I'm... They don't you try to get, you get me. Out of Mother! Here. You keep out of here. Mother! Where's that shirt? Be done in a minute, son. Well, what have you been doing all day? Listen, son, I don't want you to leave this house till your sister gets here. Well, for crime and ease sake. Well, what if the train's late? I've got a date. I'll bet it's a honey. Where is it, anyway? None of your business. Out of Higgins Roadhouse. Oh, Lorraine, you know Bud wouldn't go there. Listen, Snitch, who knocks the postman down every morning for letters from way down south? And dangles a couple more on the string right here in town. Oh, Mother, it isn't true. Take a good look at you. Oh, you're not my baby sister any longer. Have I grown much? I should say you have. Not bad looking, are they? <laughs> Mother. Oh. <laughs> you're not supposed to do that. I feel a little weepy myself. Oh, it's... So oh, good to be home. Why, Bud? <laughs> Will you look at our handsome hero? Hello, sis. Oh. <laughs> Why, you are positively handsome. You're not looking exactly bad yourself. <laughs> How's the big city treating you? Oh, great. Well, I'm going to invite you down just to show you all. <laughs> <laughs> Come on upstairs, Helen. I have something to tell you. All right. Oh, where's Dad? Oh, he's been called out to a meeting. Although he's not on the newspaper now, he, 
He's so interested in everything that's going on. And the town council's uh, passing a new paving bill tonight. Oh. Yeah, Greenfield's a big city now. Grass and everything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lorraine, you've changed everything. Everything but that. Oh. Oh, Paul. Oh. Well, what's the big secret? Do you like him? He looks nice. Oh, gee, I'm glad. Look, he gave me his fraternity pin. That's the same as being engaged. His name's Don. Donald Randall. And they've acres and acres in Virginia. And the loveliest home. Oh, darling, you know, I'm invited there this summer. May I go? Hmm, <laughs> of course, Ted. <laughs> oh, gee. It'll cost a lot of money. You know, I spent a weekend there with his sister. Hmm, darling, they change clothes every five minutes. Oh, it's simply too marvelous. Riding habits, sport clothes, tennis dresses, pajamas, afternoon gowns, evening gowns, and the loveliest girls. <laughs> but Don liked me the best. Oh, gee. Can I really go? You certainly can. Anytime you like. I'll give you the money now. <laughs> Oh, gee, that's well of you, Helen. Hey, hey, the taxi's clicking down there. Oh, I forgot all about it. Uh, Here, you go down, Peg, will you? Oh. I want to talk to Helen. That's a good girl. And I'm sorry I kidded you about your sweetheart. Oh, that's all right. Well, Mr. Barrymore, what's on your mind? Besides a heavy day. Oh, nothing much. I just wanted to ask you a question. Not the girl question, surely. <laughs> no, honey. I'm serious. Uh, do you live at 2 West 109th Street? I did. Why, Bud? Oh, I just wanted to know. Bud, tell me, why did you ask me that? Well, there's a fellow in town. He used to work there. He was night operator. And he's been making cracks. Oh. But don't you worry. I shut him up. He won't talk anymore. I'll break his neck if he does. Oh, but don't get into trouble. Oh, let people talk. What do we care? Well, nobody's going to talk about my sister and get away with it. Hello. Uh, yes, Mother. I fixed a bit of supper. Can you come down now? Oh, uh, yes, dear. I'll be right down. Oh, Bud, promise me you won't do anything rash. I'll be careful, sis. Honest. You coming down to supper? Nope. I've got a heavy day. Oh, that's right. I forgot. But I'll see you later. You've gone to a lot of trouble, have you? No, just a snack. Oh, good. You look tired, Mother. You didn't. I don't want any strange girls cluttering up my kitchen. I had a hole. It would seem that meeting is over. Now, if you think you can act like a gentleman, I'll let you go in and see my daughter. Well, of course. Uh, but wipe off your feet. Gentlemen, my daughter. <laughs> I don't be silly, Dad. They've known me all my life. <laughs> Come into the kitchen, change your shirt. Oh, how do you do, Mr. Johnson? See you again. <laughs> That's right. Well, won't you go right in?
What do you bet he doesn't do it now? Come on, two bits, two bits. Two bits. All right. Ah, I won't hold that again. Come on, once more now. All right. I'll do it. You will. All right. No, I'm going to put this spoon in this glass tonight if it takes all summer. Hello, Sheik. Did the big sister get back from New York? I'll drop around sometime for a party. Who's that fellow, bud? I don't know, Molly. Just some wise guy. What do you say we sit this one out? Right. Haven't you done it yet? No, but I'm going to. Give me that glass. Bud? Uh, oh, nothing. Uh, pardon me a minute, will you, folks? Sure. I'll be right back. You were glad to see Paul in New York? Oh, yes, I was. He's a fine fellow. No, I think he used to be scared of me. <laughs> I being your mother and he being so young. But this time we got real chummy and had a fine talk. Did he say when he was coming back? Mm, not exactly. Say, Mother, do you think we could manage if I'd stay here and get a job? Of course. My dear, anything can be managed if you just put your mind on it. Mother, could I speak to you for a minute? What, what? a secret for me already? Oh, only a little one, sis. <laughs> Mother, Bud isn't here and his bed hasn't been slept in. Now, there's no use for you to look. Oh, I, I wonder what's happened to him. I'll see who it is, dear. Oh, Bud, are you hurt? No, I'm all right, Mother. Oh, what's happened, Mr. Pearson? Well, it's pretty serious. He got into a fight over some girl out of Sandy's place and mashed the boy's head in with a bottle. Oh, oh, but Bud, after you promised me. Oh, my baby. There, Mother. And the other boy, is he, uh... Well, no, Miss. We just left the hospital, and they say he's out of danger. But is he badly hurt? Fractured skull. Oh. Well, what can be done, Mr. Pearson? Well, the father says he won't press the charges if you'll pay the expenses. He doesn't want to send a young boy like Bud to jail. Jail? Oh, oh mother. mother darling. Well, uh, how much would it take? Now, he figures about a thousand dollars. A thousand dollars? Where in the world could we get a thousand dollars? Now, don't worry, dear. May I see Bud alone for just a minute? Certainly, Miss Helen. Does my husband know anything about this? I don't know. Was that the boy you were telling me about? No. Look at me. 
was it? It was. Oh, but after you promised me. I didn't mean to, to hurt him, but I couldn't help it. He said that you were... Bud. Oh. But you're my sister. Come on, Bud. Oh, but Mr. Pearson, I thought you said that... Yes, Miss Helen. They'll settle for $1,000. But I've got to hold Bud until they're paid. I'm sorry, Paul. Well, for goodness sake, the cat came back. Yeah, dragging his tail behind him. <laughs> Come on in. Can you get him? That remains to be seen. Oh, hello. Why, Helen, are you back? Back? What do you mean, back? Can't you see she's just passing through Albany? You shouldn't tell her that. You'll give her the wrong impression of Albany. Nobody ever passes through there. They always spend the night. I spent two nights there once. Oh! Oh! Somebody's moving. In or out? You would think of that. Well, I was always... Oh, shut up. Well, anyhow... I want you to call Mr. Van Dyne. Tell him you must see him right away. Say it's something about the apartment. but very important. And don't say that I'm here. Oh, I don't even like to talk to that man, Miss Helen. Well, he can't kill you over the telephone. No, but he sure can blister my ear. Well, anyhow... This man said he understood exactly how I felt about not wanting to hurt Wiggs' partner's feelings by not accepting the rose. So he said, why don't you sell it and give me the money to invest for you? Oh. Why, what's the matter with that? That depends. How did he invest it? Oh, I don't know. He just said to leave it to him. Stocks, I think. Stock? Stock? Yeah. Uh-oh. She's got it. Yeah, baby, she's going to get it right in the neck. In the neck? Mm. You, Sap, don't you know the market's going down so fast you can't see it? Yes, yeah, that's what he said. Down or up, I don't know which. But anyhow, it must have been all right, because I've already made three times as much as I gave him. You've made three times as much as you gave him? Yes, yeah, three times. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 Chris, now stop. Oh, pretty kitty, oh. <laughs> oh, stop. <laughs> Let's cut her in two and wear her for a rabbit's foot. <laughs> oh, now, Kirafai, I know you're kidding now. Oh, you have, you might hurt me. Oh, oh, help, help. Oh. What are you doing? Dee's got Van on the phone. What are you doing? Oh, I don't care. She's so crazy, always taking poison and things. You never know what she's going to do. I'm never going to speak to either one of you again. Is that a promise? Yeah, but it doesn't mean anything. She'll be back. 
Gee, that's a swell idea. Why didn't we think about that before? Oh, what do they say? Is he coming over? Yes, madam. He's coming and I'm going. I want the evening off. Well, you can't have the evening off. You're staying right here. Don't mind these hoodlums, they're only the visiting firemen. <laughs> Miss Hudson, I want you to meet Mr. Marston. How do you do? Simpson and Mr. Yeah. Perry. How, do you do? How are you? Boys, I think you'd better sit down before you fall down. Kind of an idea. They're on a liquid diet. They're out for no good. <laughs> I'm arranging a party for them tonight. I want you to take care of it. I'll be very glad to. Happy to have met you. appointment for five o'clock. The whole work. You'll be there, won't you? Oak. Okay. Fifi, I'm giving a party this evening. And Fifi, I'll be late, so you'll have to do everything yourself. Oh, if any guests arrive before I do, just give them a drink. If they get impatient, give them another. That's right. Close the door. Huh? Close the door. It won't work if you don't close it. I was wondering where the elevator boy was. Here it is. Won't she be surprised? I should say she will. <sighs> Daughter. Where's Helen? We came here to surprise her. Where is she? Are you Miss Helen's family? Yes. Of course we are. Where is she? She's in here right now, but uh, is she expecting you? No, but does that matter? No, sir, that doesn't matter. Oh, of course it doesn't. She'll be delighted. Yes, sir. Uh, she, she will. Well, then show us to our room so we can get settled while we're waiting for her. I don't think I'd better do that, sir. Oh, pardon me, ma. I'll put your back in Miss Helen's room, and when she'll come home, she'll divide you up. What? Divide us up? Say, what do you think we are, a hunk of pie? Oh, that's all right, Father, that's all right. You must remember this is Helen's home. Uh, I'll help you with the bag. No, no, madame. Well, I must say she hasn't stinted herself any. Rest yourself in here. I'm expecting Miss Helen any minute now. I've got to go back to the kitchen. Miss Helen's having a party this evening. A party? Can I help? There is nothing to do, madame, except squeezing a few more lemons. When you get the lemon squeezed, I'll make the lemonade. My daughter loves the way I make it. I'll come with you. Yes, madame. You stay right here and make yourself at home.
Anything I can do for you? Oh, yes. I was looking for Miss Hudson. Could you tell me if she's still working here? Oh, very much so. Why? Well, the last time I saw her, she said she might be leaving. Uh, my name is Cooper. Paul Cooper? Yes. Oh. Oh. You are Mr. Van Dyne? Yes. Well, I'm glad to meet you. Miss Hudson has told me how nice you've been to her. Oh, really? That's very kind of her. I've heard quite a lot about you, too. Oh, have you? Well, we're going to be married, you know. Yes, I've been suspecting that for quite a long time. Does Miss Hudson know of your arrival here today? Surprise. Oh, surprise. I suppose it sounds funny, but I haven't her address. Could you give it to me? <laughs> it is funny. I mean, a young fellow not having the address of the young lady he's about to marry. <laughs> well, perhaps it's in my desk. I'll see if I can find it for you. Well, thanks. It's good of you to bother. Not at all. Not at all. Anything to help along a romance? Come in. I'll uh, look to the desk. Have a cigar. Well, thanks. Sit down. No, thanks. I'll just get the address. I don't want to detain you. Oh, you're not detaining me. I'm in no hurry. See, I take a very deep interest in Miss Hudson. Well, that's awfully nice of you. You know, most employers are not interested in the people who work for them. Oh. Well, I am. She's been with me such a long time. She's a wonderful girl. Of course, I think so. Well, so do I. And what the secretary? I'll bet she is. You've no idea. Or have you? What? She is a, a wonderful secretary. Well, it's too bad, but it looks like you'll be looking for a new one. Well, good luck anyway. Thanks. I'm well, afraid I, I haven't Miss Hudson's address here after all. No. Oh, but how silly of me. I'm going to a party tonight where she is. I'll take you along and we'll surprise the young lady. Oh, I wouldn't want to do that. Not without calling her first. Nonsense. We'll walk right in and surprise her. She'll love it. Do you think so? I know it. I can't tell you how much I appreciate this. Oh, mention it. It's a pleasure. Now listen, if you don't want to go to this party, stay at home. We can worry along without you. Oh, I'm sick of parties. The same old liquor that tastes alike, the same old men, oh, they're all alike. And what does it get you? Just another hangover. You know, the more I see of you, the more I regret I didn't let you take that poison. Well, that goes with me too. Come on, Wigsy. You here already? Wigsy and I thought we'd be early, but you know, Wigsy has indigestion, and he just can't eat anything when he's going to do a lot of drinking. Oh, you know Wigsy, don't you? I never saw him before in my life. And I don't care if I never see him again. <laughs> oh, gee, you're kidding, aren't you? They don't mean it, Wigsy. Good evening. Won't you come in? That's what we came for. I'm Helen's mother. Helen isn't home yet, but I'm expecting her any minute. Let me take your things. Make yourselves at home until Helen gets here. Thank you. It's all right, Nick. Be careful this day. guys. Stand back. Haven't you ever seen anyone take a drink before? Here's hot, gal. Ye gods, it's lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's all right. Did I get too much sugar in it? Oh, oh no, it's lovely, isn't it, Claude? Oh, it's delicious. And Wigsy likes it, too. Oh, do let me give you another glass, Wigsy. No, thanks. It's it. It's my indigestion, you know. Oh, do you have indigestion? That's too right. bad. Come with me and I'll fix some soda and water for you. There's nothing like old-fashioned soda for indigestion. No, thank you. I... Oh, go on, Wigsy. It'll do you good. Sure, it'll fix you up in a jiffy. Come, Come on, on. I always...
Are you by any chance drinking lemonade? What's your name? Allow me to introduce myself. Mr. J.G. Hutton. Journalist. But to you ladies, J.G. Her father. <laughs> Say, J.G., how about you and me having a little drink? Delight. And you, dear lady? Well, I'll tell you, J.G., I think I'll have a drink, too. Delighted. And then, then we'll sing a little song, eh? Oh, by all means, we'll sing. Of course we'll sing. What's a drink without a little song? Good. Now, then, let it go. She was fair and fat and forty, and we met on a summer's day. I had a rake, and she had a hoe, and, and so, so we wandered away. She always liked to lay on the new moon. <laughs> Well, here I am, Dora. Yes, there you are. Mm. You don't seem so happy to see me. Why, it's just that I'm uh, a little surprised, that's all. What are you doing here? Well, we, uh, we, we've come to visit. We? Is Mother here? Sure, she... You know, Bud wanted to come. But now he's got a job, I said, Junior, you stick to your job if you want to succeed and follow in the footsteps of your father. Where's Mother? What? Mother's in there serving your friends with real lemonade while we're out here sampling the real thing. <laughs> <laughs> No, thanks. Would you like lemonade? Tell Van not to come here tonight. I'll call him after a while. All right. <laughs> no, thanks. Oh, what a surprise. Hello, everybody. I'm oh, sorry I'm late. I'll be with you just a minute. You come with me while I change my dress. You're not angry because we came. Angry? Why, no, darling. Oh. I really didn't want to, but there wasn't anything else to do. Well, what do you mean? What happened? Well, your father insisted that I come and pay you a visit. He said I needed a rest, so he came too. It's his vacation. He's been fired again. Oh, now, don't you feel badly. Why, you couldn't help it. No, I, I don't mean to, but I'm so tired and I've tried so hard. Oh, of course you have. You have been wonderful. But now, don't you worry. I'm going to find you a nice apartment somewhere. You wouldn't go to the expense of getting another apartment. Couldn't we stay here with you? Well, I don't know, dear. We'll see. I'm worried about your father. I don't know what he's going to do. So far, he's doing all right. Hello, City Club. I want to speak to Mr. Van Dyne. I'm calling for Miss Hudson. It's important. Wait till you get a load of Van's girl. You will call your marriage off. That's not likely. Uh, of course not. She's not Cooper's type. He's on his way. Thank you.
I keep my word. I've been to your parties. <laughs> well, let me go and see the girls. They'll be here in a moment. friend of yours. So I brought him along. Yes. Uh, uh, mother, Mr. Van Dyne came up to, uh, to uh, wind up a little unfinished business. Mr. Van Dyne. Oh, I'm so glad to meet you. Helen has said so much about you. Don't they make a lovely couple? Uh, well, yeah, yes, they do. I want you to meet Helen's father. He's here, too. Shall I go and find him? Thanks. Oh, Paul. The last time I saw you, there was something I wanted to tell you. Come here. Well, can't it wait until we get out of here? Get out of here? Why, sure. You've no business being here, nor your mother either. Oh. oh, pardon me. Handkerchief, please. Thank you, dear. Come, dear, all your guests will be leaving. Mother, dear, I have a surprise for you. Surprise? Tomorrow, we're going home for today. That is a surprise. Oh, then this is your farewell party. Yes, that's right. My farewell party. Thanks. Oh, for me? No, land sense, it's for me. I wonder who in the world is... Oh. Oh, Helen, what's the matter? She's gone and gotten married. Oh. Lorraine, oh, my poor baby. She's just a little child. Oh, Helen, can't we do something? Oh, I'm glad. But she's only 17. She's too young to be married. No, she's safe now, safe. 
She'll be very happy. That boy loves her. Oh, I don't know what to think. <laughs> you should be very happy and proud of her. I think I'll get my hat on and go over to your dad's office. Oh, not yet. Oh, she is. I have a telegram. Lorraine. Oh, Lorraine. Yes, I'm going over to see your dad. No, you're not. What? You're not going out there yet. Why? Wait. I don't understand. Paul's back. Why? 